Hi, I'm Jade and this is part three of my video series about how to pleasure a woman. So how to get your lady to have like the best orgasms possible. Um, and now we've talked a little bit about how to set the scene. And now we're gonna go on a little bit more to erogenous zones of the woman. So the first thing to remember is every part of our body can be in an er erogenous zone. And of course, like we all are different and what one person might like in another, it can be a different thing. So it's always good to kind of check in, but then a little bit, you know, use initiative and just explore. So I use the word for play, saying play is the most important part of it. And lying your partner down and exploring her body. I mean, most women will say the neck is very central and especially the sides of the breasts, you know, the nipples. And then massaging in a way where you're actually touching the body and bringing the the body into this the energy into the sexual center and the same moving up the inside of the thighs and just gently just watching her seeing what she's reacting to seeing how her breathing is changing you can notice if she's relaxed then she's happy with what's going on if she's tense maybe there's things on her mind you know and maybe she'll want to talk about things and it's important that when she wants to talk about stuff you don't um, stop her or maybe, you know, change the subject or make her feel like, you know, certain things maybe are negative. So we're not allowed to kind of go there because actually talking about so-called negative experiences within reason is actually really a chance to get someone to relax, to open up with you and to really create like a deep intimacy with the other person. So, um, um, I was mentioning before how emotions and sexuality are so, so interlinked for a woman. And um, this is like a really beautiful thing which really increases our capacity for sexual pleasure. Um, now, to talk a little bit about um, the vagina and the, the um, erogenous zones of the vagina. Now, it's important to approach the vagina really slowly and really respectfully and to check with the woman when you start touching her intimately, which includes touching the breast, check that she's happy with what you're doing and check that she's okay with it. Because if you're touching her and she's not feeling comfortable, she might not say anything, but she might just be having a bad time. And this is why it's also important to watch her breathing and watch the signals that her body is giving to you, to look her in the eye, to smile with her and to create a connection so that you really, really know that she's fully consenting to what you're doing. Because if she's not fully consenting, she's not going to be having a good time. She might even be going through like bad emotions like fear, which you really don't want her feeling, you know, in, in the experience with you. So as long as you're checking in with that, you're making sure that you're really connected with her. And when you start to move down towards the sexual area, towards the vagina, it's nice to like do a little bit of massaging around the tummy, around the inside of the legs. And imagine as if you're just pulling the energy there into the sexual center and really notice how she's responding because she should be responding with pleasure to, to what you're doing. If she's not, she might just need a little bit of time. You could ask her, you could just stop, you could chat, have a cup of tea, see what's going on. Maybe a little bit later when she's feeling more comfortable and more safe with you, she can open up a little bit more, but it's absolutely essential to be creating this space where she is feeling, um, where she's feeling like really, really comfortable and really happy with you. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about a few of my favorite um, uh, tips from coming from tantric massage and also coming from um, my experience with Taoist sexual alchemy about when you're coming to the vagina and how to open up the whole sexual area. So my first move I like to do when I'm giving a tantric massage just to open up the pleasure of the whole vagina is just to place my hand over the vagina so if the woman's lying there and just start to make circles with my hand and spend like several minutes so you're circling over the whole outer labia the inner labia the clitoris and you're just opening up that area in a very very gentle way which gives her a chance to relax to feel calm and it also has the added benefit of releasing a lot of hormones into her body which feels like really really nice now once you've been doing that for a few minutes and you notice that she's enjoying it just take your fingers and start first of all find the outer labia and start to massage them a little bit in this way. And then you can do the same with the inner labia, just pulling them out, you know, getting energy into them, opening up, opening it all up. 
you know. And then my favorite external move is to get the finger in the dip between the inner and outer labia and to just slowly draw it up and down. So you're just stimulating around the clitoris but not directly on the clitoris because sometimes direct clitoral stimulation can be like a little bit um, overwhelming. And then also just next to the clitoris on the left hand side, so that would be this side on me, there is a little bundle of nerves and you can just play with that like very, very gently and very, very sweetly um, to, to just start to open up the whole sexual area and it can feel like really, really amazing. Now hopefully you're noticing now that she's becoming quite lubricated, she's becoming quite wet and um, um, if she's not, or if she's not feeling what you're doing, if she's not, um, if she's not enjoying it, I mean, maybe she's even going, come on, come on, just fuck me, because like, um, you know, she she can't get into what you're doing. You know, what I would actually say in, in this situation is she probably has some emotions, some uncomfortable emotions that are blocking her from being able to open up sexually. So, I mean, obviously this is part of her own healing journey but um talking to her and um allowing her to to open up if she's able to may help her overcome this because sexual problems generally come down to emotional problems both in women and in men that um if we can't get wet we can't enjoy sex we can't or, or, or orgasm it is basically some emotional thing that's stopping us from relaxing it's stopping us from opening up and it's stopping us from really enjoying having a sexual experience.